welcome back to my channel and happy, happy Friday. It is about 6.20 a.m. I just pulled into my WW workshop. Doors open at 6.30, so I'll be going into weigh-in, change, head to work. Boy, it's been a week. It has been a very fun, exciting week. As you know, I did the Wendy plan this entire week. I followed it to the point, except I will say that there were days that I wasn't able to eat all of the points that I was to eat that day. So if you don't know how the Wendy plan works, you input your daily points and your weekly points into a calculator and it spits out the entire week's worth of points for you where it jumbles up your dailies and weeklies into a set amount of points each day. So for example, one day you might have your normal 23 or 33 points and the next day you'll have 40 points and then 39 points and then 44 points and basically the point of it is to shock your system to give your body a reboot a restart to see if it can re-lose weight jumpstart your weight loss break a plateau that's what the wendy plan is all about so i did it as a little bit of a test just to see if i would see a bigger loss on the scale with doing the Wendy plan and shocking my body and jumbling up my points for the week to see what my body does with that. So that is what I did this week. This week was extremely busy and stressful. As I've mentioned before, I have a lot of changes going on in my life, very positive changes, but a lot of changes that have taken a lot of my extra time after work and such. So I'll be sharing that with you guys in a separate video once everything falls into place. But just was a crazy week. So I did the Wendy plan. I really enjoyed it. I just wasn't able to eat all of my points every day. So that's the only thing that I can say about the Wendy plan. But I liked it. I enjoyed having days where I had more points available. I did miss having my full Saturday day where I ate whatever I wanted. But that was the day that I flagged as my high day. So you pick the day that you want to be your high day. So I chose Saturday and that was like 50 to 53 points. So I still had quite a bit of points available to me on Saturday. So super cool. I will link down in the description box, the Wendy plan calculator. So if you're interested, you can check out the Wendy plan as well. And also there is just a ton of information on it on my Facebook group because we kind of did it as a group. So I'm going to put my Facebook group right here on the screen as well. So my week went really well food wise. I stayed on track. Actually, when I put in the last of my food yesterday, I still had like 20 weekly points left. So I didn't even use all my weeklies even on the Wendy plan. And I know that you are supposed to use all your weeklies. But like I said, I didn't eat all my points every day. So I did it to the best of my ability. I didn't want to stuff myself or eat when I wasn't hungry. So we'll see what happens when I step on the scale. So I'm going to head into my workshop, weigh in and stay for the workshop. I'll be back to not only give you the recap, but to share the results of this little test, this little trial of the Wendy plan. Hey guys, I am out of my workshop, just pulled in to work. And I wanted to share with you guys what we talked about at the workshop. Loved it. Per the usual, WW did it again. And the topic was exactly what I need. So we talked this week about all or none thinking. Um, guilty. 100% guilty of all or none thinking. I am one of those people that if I blow it, I figure, well, crap, I blew it. I'm just going to go crazy, eat whatever I want. It doesn't matter. The day's ruined, the week's ruined, the month's ruined. That is totally me. I am all about the all or none thinking. But I will have to say, since joining WW, I am more mindful when I start feeling that all or none thinking coming in. So if I screw up and I'm like, well, I'm just going to blow the rest of the day, eat whatever I want. I'm at least mindful of that. And my senses kick in and I go, wait a minute, is that really what you want to do? Because you ate a cookie or you had a piece of cake. Is it really worth blowing the rest of the day or the week because of that one thing? So this is a great topic. I think it's something that every single person, no matter what diet or eating plan or lifestyle you're following in some capacity of your life, we are all or none thinkers. So I wanted to share with you WW's tips for how to avoid being an all or none thinker. So first you want to focus on shifting your thoughts. So when you start having that all or none thought come into your brain, identify that. What is it that's triggering this all or none philosophy? So 
For example, I ate a piece of cake at a party at work. So in my mind, I instantly think, well, I just ate a 20 plus point piece of cake. So now I'm going to go back to my office and I'm going to have some chips. I'm going to have some pop. I'm going to have some candy. Identify when that thought creeps into your mind. Think about that. Wait a minute. I just said to myself that it is free reign. I can do whatever I want because I had a piece of cake. Is that really the mindset that's going to help me be successful on my journey? Is going back and eating all of that food going to help me see a drop on the scale? Or is eating the cake, moving past it, getting right back on track with the next meal, going to deliver the results that I want on my journey? Secondly, Give yourself a reality check. Boop, 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 slap yourself. Give yourself a reality check that says, is this what I would tell my best friend or my fellow WW member or my family to do if they were in the same situation? If they ate a piece of cake or something off of their meal plan, would I tell them, eh, throw in the towel, just splurge, eat whatever you want the rest of the day because that's going to deliver the results? No, we wouldn't. We would tell our friend and family member or our fellow WW member, that's okay. Give yourself a little bit of grace and just get right back on track on the next meal. So if that's what we would tell someone we loved and cared about, that's what we should be telling ourselves because we should also love and care about ourselves the same way as we do others. Lastly, use that reality check on yourself to develop a healthier goal for your wellness journey. So I had the cake it's okay, move it on on my next meal to a healthy option. Because ultimately, that is going to deliver the results that we want on our wellness journey. It's not going back and eating a bunch of other food. It's not throwing in the towel for the day or the week. What's going to help us get where we wanna be, which is all why we are here, which is why we're on our journey, good, bad, and different, is having a mindset, giving ourselves a reality check that says, it's okay, move on and do better next time. If you beat yourself up, you're only gonna put yourself in a negative mindset and being in a negative mindset is absolutely not gonna help you on your journey. Staying positive, moving past things, getting over it is what we need to do to make sure that our journey is not only successful, but our mind and our mental health stays positive along that journey as well. So I loved the topic. It definitely hit home for me because like I said, I'm 100% guilty of this all or none mentality. And I've gotten a lot better since joining WW, but I still have the moments of weakness where I go back to that train of thought where I am all or none. But I am mindful, so much more mindful on this journey than I ever was before. Comment down below and let me know, are you guys that way too? Do you feel that you're really your like mindset has changed. You are so much more aware of what you're doing and you're able to kind of snap back out of it and get back into losing mode or WW mode after you have a slip up. So I love that WW not only focuses on food, but also focuses on the mindset and the wellness and the well-being of your journey. So that is why, my friends, I am a fan of WW. Love, love, love the program. So now let's talk about my week. The Wendy plan, I loved it. It went really well. And I have good news for all of you guys. It's excellent news for all of you. When I stepped on the scale today, guess how much I lost? I'm crazy excited about this. I am down 2.4 pounds. 2.4 in one week of doing the Wendy plan. Now, let me preface that with, I don't know that it was the Wendy plan. I've been exercising. I've been on plan. I didn't use all my weeklies. That could be the reason that I did the 2.4 loss. But all I do know is that I was on the Wendy plan when the 2.4 loss happened. So I'm super excited about it. So excited. I want to hear those of you that did the Wendy plan with me. How did it go for you? How did you feel about it? What was your success or not success on the scale with the Wendy plan? So I want to hear how it went for you guys as well. But yeah, I am really excited, you guys, that I lost 2.4. I finally am taking off the little bits of gains that I've had and I'm back down to where I am happy to be. So I've decided that because I gave it a shot and it was successful for me. And I've also heard that you need more than one week to see results on the Wendy plan. So those of you that didn't have the success that maybe you wanted, give it another week. See if maybe your body just needs that next week to really kick into gear. So I'm going to do the Wendy plan for another week. So I'm going to continue on for this next week using my same Wendy plan calculated points that I used last week. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to try to eat all of my points, but if I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. 
I'm giving myself some grace. I'm having a positive mindset. I'm not having the all or none approach to it, but I'm going to try to eat my points every day and I'm going to give it another shot and I'm going to see if I have the same amazing results on the scale next week. So in order to participate in the Wendy plan with all of us, make sure you're part of my Facebook group. Again, I'll stick it here on the screen for you. And those of you that did the plan, who's in it for another week, whether you had results or not, who wants to give the Wendy plan another shot? I'd love to have you join me for another week. We can do this as a team. I think it was really fun to share ups and downs throughout the week on the Wendy plan with each other on the Facebook group. So who's in it? Comment down below. Let me know if you want to give the Wendy plan another shot for another week, or maybe you want to start the Wendy plan this week for the first time. So I'm happy with my results. I enjoyed it. I felt really in control on the Wendy plan and the all or nothing mentality really ha helped me this week. That whole philosophy is kind of how I was this week. The days that I was a full and didn't want to eat my points, I was on track and I didn't just eat my points. The days that I ran out of points by the end of the day, I knew that I couldn't have any more because the next day would be compromised because of that and the Wendy plan wouldn't work. So I feel that it gave me that little bit of control and I felt really in control and really happy with my eating this last week. So I'm doing it another week and we're going to see how it goes. Now I'm not going to vlog the entire week, but I am going to be putting up the Wendy plan vlog where I share my journey throughout the week and my thoughts. And of course, I'm going to add my weight loss to the end of that as well. So keep an eye out for that. So thank you for coming along with me on the Wendy plan, sticking by me. I am not doing the Wendy plan permanently, you guys. I am a freestyle girl at heart. So I'm gonna do it another week. See how the results go on the scale. I just want a little bit of comparison. Am I gonna lose as much next week as I did this week? And I just wanna see for myself how it works out for me. So thank you so much for joining me on this week's video. Thank you if you're new for coming over to my channel. I'm glad to have you. I have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. Make sure that you guys are hitting the subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell, it'll notify you every time I upload. I do upload almost every day, pretty much every day. I wanna deliver the best WW content to you guys. And I hope that you feel that what I'm delivering is what you're wanting. I would love it also if the, in the comments below. If you let me know some ideas of other videos that you guys would like to see, things that you're interested in, things you struggle with, maybe you just want some tips and tricks videos. So let me know what you guys would like to see on my channel because after all, my channel is not for me. My channel's for you guys. I love you guys so much. You seriously are the best part of my day. So thank you so much for that. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know about the Wendy plan, video ideas that you have that you'd like me to do. And again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Happy Friday. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.